So ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is they're giving us a function, and this is what we call a piecewise function, right? All a piecewise function is a series of multiple different functions. Alex, you probably want to make sure that you have this um, going through. So what you want to do for this is all a piecewise function is a set of multiple functions that are going to have your kind of constraint. All right, now if we remember we talked about graphing these, we can graph them separately. But what they're asking us to do is to find f of 1. Now remember on a piecewise function, even though we have multiple functions, each function we're only go is only can be used for its constraint. So we notice that we use this function for all values when our values are greater than 1. We're going to apply this function when all our values are when x is less than or equal to 1. So I want you to evaluate for f of 1. So am I going to have to apply the top function or the bottom function? The bottom, because this is the function you use for values that are less than or equal to 1. Since we're trying to evaluate for 1, we only want to use this function, right? If I said f of 3, then you'd use this function. Does that kind of make sense? But this, since this one is less than or equal to 1, f of 1, we're only going to apply it to the second function. And there you go. And just because I gave it to you guys, if I said f of 3, since 3 is greater than 1, There you go. Okay? So when you guys have applied piecewise functions, it's very important to determine what are you evaluating for, and not only what you're evaluating for, but which function are you going to have to apply that to within your piecewise function. Okay? So you can only choose one. You can only, well, you can only choose the one that it's going to be evaluated for, yes. Okay?